I call the honourable member for Ryan. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Treasurer, will you please outline the importance of fixing the budget? And Treasurer, what are the hurdles standing in the way? I call the honourable the Treasurer. Uh, well, I thank the honourable member for Ryan for that question. And as the member for Ryan knows, as the people of Brisbane know, it is vitally important, and the people of Queensland and the people of Australia, it's vitally important that we as a nation live within our means. Now, this Thursday we will be releasing the intergenerational report. And the intergenerational report will illustrate what are believed to be the demographics of the next 40 years of Australia. And it's exciting. It's exciting that we should uh, live longer. We all want to live longer. Uh, and uh, we also want to have a decent quality of life along the way. Well, some people in the Labor Party obviously struggle with the thought of living longer. I suggest some of their constituents might have that view about them as well. But the, um, the fact is we're living longer. We want to have a good quality of life. And importantly, uh, the intergenerational report represents a compact between the generations. It is an agreement uh, between grandparents and parents, between children and grandchildren and our generation to ensure that we can afford the future and make sure that we can pay for the health care and the aged care and the education and all the things we desperately need. Now, the starting, starting point has to be right here and now. We need to start living within our means. And as a result of the legacy of Labor, we were left with an, a daily debt that accrued at over $100 million a day. So every single day, as a result of Labor's actions, we had to borrow $100 million just to pay the daily bills as a government. Now, that is clearly not sustainable. Clearly not sustainable. Because if the government continues to borrow money, and a large chunk of that has to come from people living overseas who are lending us the money, if we have to keep borrowing $100 million a day just to pay the daily bills, sooner or later we end up with debt levels that allow the bankers of the world to be in control of our destiny rather than for us to be in control of our destiny. So what's the solution? The solution is that we need to be able to get on with the job of fixing the mess that Labor created. And we have gone a long way. As the IGR the member will illustrate, for Wakefield may have moved his seat, but his interjections are no less powerful. As the IGR will illustrate, uh, we have come a long way along the path of fixing Labor's mess, but there's still much work to be done. We haven't finished. There's still much work to be done because ultimately we've got to get the balance right. We've got to have a credible plan to get the budget back to surplus so that we as a nation can start to live within our means and at the same time we need to be able to create an environment where business and small business in particular has the confidence to go out and employ more Australians. You can't buy prosperity but, but you can buy a better budget and that's why Australians invest in the Liberal Party.